Hi guys, my name is Nicolette Mashile, also known as The Financial Bunny. Welcome to The Financial Bunny TV. Now remember that everything that I say on this video and channel does not constitute as financial advice. But if you are looking for financial advice, please speak to somebody who is certified and registered with the FSCA. So let's jump straight into today's conversation. I have been hearing left, right and center. Nicolette, tell us about SAB Senzelik Abili shares. So it's quite an exciting time for everybody in the country because SAB has got their Zenzelik Abili shares that are going to be listed on the BEE JSE stock exchange side of things, right? Now they're going to get listed on the 28th of May. So it's going to be quite a big day on Friday. We all are waiting in anticipation for these shares to get listed. But a lot of people are still confused as to what exactly are they? Right. Now, remember, when it comes to shares, what you actually essentially are doing is you are buying a piece of a company. So you're buying ownership in a company. Now, wouldn't it be great to know that a company like Woolworth that you purchase your groceries from all the time, if they're going to be making a profit, so are you if you are going to be holding shares from there. Vodacom, if you are buying airtime, if you are buying data all the time, you are one of those people that are able to actually benefit from the growth of a company like Vodacom if you are holding shares there. And this is exactly what SAB then decided that, you know what, we should essentially have some sort of a BEE scheme that will allow our employees, allow our tavern owners, allow some of our people to be able to share in the profits that the business is making. And they actually started off with SAB Zenzele shares. And when they did the Zenzele shares, if you had bought them back in 2010 at just 100 rand, you would have made, let me get that number correct, 77,518 today or this year, actually. It was supposed to happen last year, but of course, because of COVID issues, the maturity was then pushed to 2021. So you would be able to withdraw that amount of money if you had bought your Zenzela shares at 100 Rand back in 2010. Now, because of the success of the Zenzela shares um, scheme, then SAB decided, you know what? Let's do Zenzela Kabili. Let's do it again. Try yourself out again once more so they've got a new scheme that is going to be listing on the 28th of may on the bee side of the johannesburg stock exchange listing so it's going to be really something that is going to be memorable because all of us can together invest in these types of shares and who knows in a couple of years time we may be able to reap the benefits now of course a lot of people are asking themselves so how will it work how much am i going to need to actually invest remember it will come at a point where they're going to list the shares starting off, I think, at 40 rand, they said, and the price is going to change depending on the law of supply and demand. They are giving their guys who have Zenzele shares the first benefit to be able to purchase these shares so you can reinvest the money that you're going to be making from Zenzele back into now is Zenzele Kabili. But if you are like me, the skippies that didn't make it back in 2010 and didn't believe in the scheme in 2010 or even didn't know about it, that it existed, you also have an opportunity to be able to trade these shares. And the beauty about it is that once you have bought your shares, just like any other share portfolio that you may have, you have the right to buy and sell as you are as you please depending of course on the share price and the share price is going to be different by quite a number of things but one of the biggest things will be a willing buyer willing seller so it's quite exciting um for me personally because i'm really excited because i didn't get a chance as i said in the first one where do you actually buy these shares so now they're being assisted by investec right but however you can actually get them via computershare.co.za if you go onto computershare and you register a trading account, you would be able to get through these um, 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 shares. The problem that's currently sitting right now with the banking trading platforms is that some of them are still waiting for the scheme to actually list. And once it's listed, some of them might jump on board to be able to assist people in terms of investing in these shares, right?
So if you are looking to buy these shares on the 28th, you need to find what is called a JSE listed broker, a JSE registered broker. That's the only way you're going to buy them. So I want you guys not to get scammed because the reality is that there's a big buzz around these Zenzele Kabili shares, which means that people are going to start trying naughty things. You know, sometimes people are just trying, you know, they, they claim it's surviving South Africa's economy, but we know it's not. It's scamming people. And then you find out after a couple of years when this thing matures that you've actually been scammed so it is very important to ensure that the person that you're going to be using or the company that you're going to be using it is a registered and a listed brokerage it also needs to have a bee certificate to be able to facilitate the trade of these shares but they also do have a toll-free number that you can contact hold on because mina i'm in creme i'm an amber so i'm going to give you guys what the number is it is 086 um it is 0861-900-903. That number again is 0861-900-903. So yeah, very exciting. Let's see you guys on the 28th. It'll be very nice to hear your experiences in terms of registration on computer share for you to open your accounts and how would the process of actually buying these shares has gone for you. I have heard through the grapevine that unfortunately easy equities as a platform might not have these because I think because they are BEE shares, they might not have the correct certificate to be able to list them or have them on their platform. But I know for a fact that my friends at Easy Equities have got us, so they will eventually get there. So yeah, as I said, you need a JSE listed um, and, and, and broker or a brokerage firm that can able that will be able to assist you. Alternatively, please call that number and they will direct you to the right person that can assist you. All righty, guys, I'll see you guys on the next one where we're talking about how to invest in U.S. shares from South Africa. Yay! But remember, remember. I mean, two million are going to be in the information. Information is different from when we say go and buy these shares. Very, very important for you to remember. Mwah.